Have you ever felt uncertain of yourself or felt like you're not good enough? Well, these things are most likely coming from insecurity. Insecurity is a feeling of inadequacy in any aspect of your life. It produces great anxiety about yourself, your goals, and your relationships. Insecurity can also affect your ability to handle certain situations correctly. Being insecure isn't necessarily a bad thing. In some ways, it's also a natural part of life. It's essential to be self-aware that there are areas in our life where we don't know anything, which means we would need to ask others for help to learn more about certain things. If you're generally self-insecure, try not to feel too bad about yourself. You may have compared yourself to other people who are more self-confident. You must remind yourself that even the most confident people occasionally experience insecurity. Besides, what do you think will happen if a person never felt any kind of insecurity in their life? If that person never doubted themselves, they would probably bite off more than they can chew in most situations. People with no insecurities tend to overestimate themselves, often leading to many problems. If you clicked on this video thinking that you're gonna eliminate all of your insecurities, then you've got it wrong. The point of this video is to help you handle your insecurities better so you can gain more self-confidence in the future. It's good to have you here. Welcome to Tree of Life, where we plant the seeds to help you grow. We'll be giving you some helpful tips on becoming more confident and overcoming your insecurities. Tip number one, don't judge yourself. Our insecurities don't just come out of nowhere. They usually start as a tiny seed of negativity in our minds. Once we give it attention, we allow it to grow and foster in our heads, which often leads to an unhealthy cycle of feelings of insecurity. When we cultivate our negative thoughts and feelings, we also allow our brains to judge us. You may think that pointing out your flaws will help you recognize and fix them, but in most cases, it produces the opposite effect. What this does is it only actively grows our insecurity. To make matters worse, if you already feel like other people are judging you, why add to that by judging yourself as well? Validating other people's judgment will only make you even more insecure about yourself. At this point, you should be protecting yourself from the judgment of others and becoming your own supporter. Tip number two. Accept your feelings. Everyone has their own feelings, including you. Your emotions may not always sound real or valid to people outside of yourself, but they are real and valid for you, and that's why you have to take care of them. If you're having trouble accepting your feelings, imagine yourself in this situation. What would you do if a friend opened up to you about their feelings of insecurity? What would you tell them? How would you react? Would you make them feel worse by adding your own negative opinions about their insecurities? Would you judge them and tell them they're right to feel bad about themselves? No, of course you wouldn't. So don't do that to yourself. If you can't do it to someone else, what makes you feel like you can treat yourself that way? Don't treat yourself less than you would treat a friend or anyone else you care about. You may also turn the situation around and perhaps talk to your most trusted friends about your feelings of insecurity. As I said, a true friend wouldn't make you feel worse about yourself. They would listen to you and accept your feelings. Tip number three. Let go of people and situations that fuel your insecurities. Sometimes, our insecurities weren't just formed in our brains by ourselves. Other people or situations most often trigger insecurities. Have you ever had an experience where someone pointed out something about you that you never even noticed or thought about before, but after that instance, you're now insecure about it? See, you were completely fine with it before anyone else even said anything. But after it came from someone else, you now have another insecurity on your list. To become more self-confident, 
you must be aware of who and what you surround yourself with. You have to recognize who you're deciding to listen to. For example, are you choosing to believe the negative talk from people who don't even truly know you rather than those closest to you? Once you recognize the people and the situations fueling your insecurity, you need to do whatever it takes to avoid them. They will only hinder your progress. Tip number four. Find areas and activities where you can experience self-efficacy. When you've successfully avoided everything that hinders your progress towards self-confidence, you need to find areas in your life where you can actively make and see your progress. This could be like starting a new hobby or acquainting yourself with a new group of people. It could be something you've always wanted to learn but never had the time to. Whatever it will be, remember to be gentle with yourself. Don't feel that just because you can't master it immediately means you aren't good enough to do it successfully. Don't be too hard on yourself. Even baby steps are progress. If learning something new is too daunting a task, then try finding some kind of exercise that you can do regularly. Many studies have been done to prove the benefits of regular physical movement on our physical and mental health. You don't need to run marathons. Just a simple 10-minute walk every single day can have positive effects. Implementing this in your daily life is bound to make a huge difference and eventually make you feel more confident that you can achieve whatever you put your mind to. If you've watched this far, go ahead and click that like button for us to let us know that you're enjoying the video. Great, now let's move on to tip number five. Be proud of your progress, no matter how big or small. In any area of life, it's impossible to perfect anything straight away. An infant doesn't instantly know how to walk. It starts by crawling and kneeling until it eventually gains enough experience and practice to start walking confidently. Sometimes, you feel insecure because you're not aware of how far you've come. You might have been overlooking your achievements or downplaying them, when all along, you've already done so much that you should be proud of. A good way to keep track of your progress is through journaling. Before you get turned off by that idea, let me quickly remind you that it doesn't necessarily need to be the artsy, decorative type of journaling. Bullet journaling may be popular right now, but it's not always going to be the most efficient way for everyone. What I'm saying is that you just need to document your progress in whatever way is most convenient for you. Ideally, it should be somewhere you can easily access and look back on. A good and easy way is through the Notes app on your phone. You bring your phone with you everywhere, so you can use that to give yourself a little boost anytime you're starting to feel insecurity coming up. Tip number six, be your own friend. If you feel like everyone has turned their back on you, then don't do it to yourself. At the end of the day, you've only got yourself to rely on. Look for things or activities that make you feel loved and appreciated. Spoil yourself with a long, hot bath, maybe even light some candles for the pleasant aroma. Get that full body massage that you've been putting off for weeks now. Tell yourself that you deserve it. You can also meet up with your friends who are there to support you and make you feel better about yourself. Doing something special for yourself every day can help you lessen your feelings of insecurity. It'll serve as a reminder that you are valuable, strong, and capable. Partaking in activities that make you feel good is a great starting point on the path to feeling more confident. Lastly, get professional help. These steps can help you gain more confidence, but if you have an ongoing struggle with these feelings, don't hesitate to reach out for professional help. There is absolutely nothing wrong with reaching out for help from others. You're doing it to help yourself, so you have nothing to be ashamed of. We hope you learned something today. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe and tell us about your own experiences down below.
or suggest a topic that you'd like us to talk about in our next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.